Hi guys, this is Julia from Just One More Card and today I have a card for you using a technique I haven't really tried before and that's paper piecing. I always thought it was paper piercing and I was like, why would anybody pierce paper until I look closely? Now I also want you to look closely at these new stamp and die sets by Pretty Pink Posh. Yes, Pretty Pink Posh has stamp sets. They are adorable and I'm going to showcase the tent from that stamp set today. I'm going to start out though by creating my background. I'm using different colors of Distress Ink and I'll be listing all the colors in the video description below or on my blog. And as you can see here, I'm creating a gradient going from a, an orange towards a bright yellow. So I have a really nice sunny background. I'm spraying this with Perfect Pearls Mist just to add some shimmer to this background. And I'm doing this before I lift off the stencil because I only want the shimmer to be on the sunrise. So you can see it looks already pretty awesome. Now I am stamping the tent. I'm usually double stamping because the My Favorite Things licorice dye ink is not the blackest ink. Um, but you know, this double stamping with the Misty isn't so hard. So that's why I did that. And then I decided I or originally had wanted to color it, but then I decided let's try this paper piecing. And that basically means you're stamping the image on some pattern paper. I'm only stamping the like the flaps of the tent here and I'm fuzzy cutting it out. Um, uh, as you saw, I did have the um, the dies. I do have the dies, but I want this to fit snugly onto the tent. So I'm cutting right along that stamped edge, taking my time. And then I'm grabbing some Copic markers and all I'm doing is I'm shading along the edges here. And that should um, give the impression of some depth that one flap is overhanging the other, for example. So you have some dimension and roundedness. And I also did this for this uh, inside part of the tent, you know, like using my grays here to um, create the illusion that this is further back and therefore in the shadow. And it's really easy um, copy blending. I'm not doing anything fancy. I added some Tombow Mono adhesive on the back and I've actually die cut the entire tent that I stamped at the very, in the very first step. I die cut that with the matching die, of course. And now I'm just fitting in all these uh, paper pieces and I'm piecing it together. Therefore, it's called paper piecing. Yay. And then I'm using a lawn fawn border here. This is the grassy um, border. And I'm just going to overlay this so the sun is going to be partially hidden by it. Just gluing this down here, some adhesive on the back. And I'm going to leave this white. I'm not going to sponge this like with green or anything because I want the contrast to be white. I think that's a very fresh and clean contrast. The sentiment is of course from the same stamp set. And uh, like happy days is just to me, it's just perfect. You see the sun rise behind this tent. And you know, I do love camping. I haven't been in forever, but I do love camping because if you're somewhere where it's like quiet and you get up in the morning, you just hear the birds and the animals all around you. It's, I think it's just fantastic. So here's a very clean and easy card and I'm totally in love with the tent by Pretty Pink Posh so I hope to use that again really soon. Here's a close-up of the sun peeking out behind that die cut tent. Die cut and paper, pier paper pieced tent. I always want to say piercing. I don't know why. And here's a look at the entire card together with the very happy sentiment. It's a very simple font but I think it's just perfect for some camping um, cards that your friends might enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I have some additional videos here for you. And uh, if you like this card, please leave me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. I promise you there are amazing videos coming soon. Bye bye.